So if the title is not clickbait, my mission is over. And I really will do a voice reveal at the end of the video, so stick around if you're curious. But with the conclusion of the ZBrush series, I have taught you everything I know. Which is why today marks the end of an important chapter and the beginning of a new unknown era that you and I will be exploring together for the first time. That doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop uploading new tutorials in the future, it just means that now you and I will be learning the content at the same time. There are a lot of things on my hit list, things that I'm currently learning and practicing right now, such as photorealistic faces, substance texturing, and rendering in Unreal 5 with special effects. These are all things that I'll be learning over the next few months, and you can bet your ass that as I learn to master these new software, I will share what I find here on the channel. Now, the biggest change for this channel going forward will be the shift in scope. Up to this point, I've taught you specifically how to use the tools you need. But once you know how to do something, the next question is, what should you do? Everything up to this point now I've taught you how to do is basically grunt work modeling and animation. But the next step is to understand how to think, how to plan, and how to organize things from a managerial slash director position. If you are working with a team, the worst thing that can happen is you spend too much money focusing on the wrong things, applying the wrong techniques, and wasting your best resources on things that ultimately weren't necessary. These are higher level problems of leadership and management that most people will inevitably encounter in the future. And as someone who's been an indie developer for 14 years, I've had my share of projects. So I'll be sharing my two cents here to help you avoid the biggest mistakes that I've seen happen first hand. So over the next few months, we are going to start tackling a lot more of the upper echelon problems that modelers and riggers generally won't worry about, which brings me to a new service that I will be opening up starting today. This has been something that I secretly really only made available to patrons up to this point, but I do offer 30 minute consultations and mentorships for 120 bucks. Sometimes people have big ideas but no experience, and they come to me to help organize their project. Or sometimes they're a new 3D artist and they're having trouble improving and they just want some advice or tips on where to spend their time and how to practice more efficiently. And sometimes people just come to me with serious problems, like they have a team, but they're having trouble working with them, and they're wondering what to do and how to handle it. And if you're wondering why it's 30 minutes instead of an hour, it's just basically because I've noticed that generally, the more time people know they have, the more time they waste. Every single time I've been to a company meeting, and all of us know we are stuck in this room for the next 60 minutes, people start talking about their cat, talking about what they're gonna have for lunch right after, people play rock, paper, scissors, I mean, they just get distracted. I've never been to a single one hour meeting where the amount of constructive conversation summed up to more than 20 or 30 minutes. So that time limit is really just a way to encourage people to come prepared, clear, focused, and ready to solve the problem and find workable solutions. So if you're in a pickle or have some questions, I have helped talk people through their art, through their animations, even help people organize their hentai dream game. So if you ever need advice or consultation on anything, literally anything, that is related to my field, just send me an email because that is a service that I now officially provide. I plan to start doing more of these real talk kind of content in the future and I would eventually like to do some live stream stuff and have some fun with you guys in real time. As well as invite guests with different expertise onto the show to help find and share even more important golden nuggets of information and lessons that we can all learn from and level up. Since I'll be opening up this avenue for more free talk topics, I've decided to go ahead and come clean with my normal accent. Honestly in the beginning it was just supposed to be a joke like wouldn't it be funny if Joey Wheel had taught you 3D? But People started to take it seriously, and I felt like if I didn't keep it up, people would just assume the videos were fake. So I got stuck with it and just kind of kept it going. I already knew the channel was never about me. People subscribe to the channel for what I know, not for who I am. I personally never really cared about expressing myself. I only cared about expressing things correctly, and I try very hard to keep it that way. But now, since I've done what I've set out to do and I consider everything from this point onward a fresh new start, from now on, let's go ahead and keep it real. All right, so this is Royal Skies. It's a pleasure to finally meet you, and thank you for everything. I truly hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.